Hi, Mike Gibson, Roxana Marin, coming to you live from Orlando here at Sky 2016. Roxana, we're talking about contrast use and acute kidney injury today. I'll never forget when I was a fellow, a very famous interventional cardiologist who remained nameless said uh, to the fellow, you know, in that kind of tone, that whispered tone, plenty of contrast. So the next injection, the fellow injected even harder. And he kind of gritted his teeth, he goes, I said plenty of contrast. And the next injection, the fellow injected even harder. What was he trying to say? <laughs> and he said, I said plenty of contrast. And the fellow thought he meant that he was underfilling plenty. the arting. Yeah. And he was meaning that that was plenty of contrast. Plenty of contrast, that's so enough. That's enough. <laughs> oh, so uh, it emphasizes closed loop communication. Oh, and uh, But the first words out of my mouth often in a case are, you're using too much dye, you know? Yeah. I, I think we, it's a crutch. Mm -hmm. Dye is a crutch. Um, talk to us about this innovative system you evaluated in this trial. Well, first of all, the volume of contrast media has always been one of the most important predictors of acute kidney injury. Imagine that if you, I mean, it makes sense, right? I mean, right. if it's contrast-induced acute kidney injury, the more contrast you give, and the volume is definitely highly related with with, uh, you know. And what people don't realize is AKI is a worse outcome than an MI almost it, it in is, multivariate models. It really models. truly yeah. is, and it's an important, uh, it, it happens in the sicker patient population, yes. so they're always saying, oh, it's a confounder, but honestly, it, it really is something we need to avoid. Absolutely. And the avoidance of AKI is one of the big initiatives in the NCDR registry, and one of the biggest things is to, you know, limit the use of contrast media and hydrate your patients. Those are right. the two things we know so far that works. And just by hydrating patients, we've been able to reduce um, the incidence of contrast-induced acute kidney injury to a tremendous low levels of like about 10% from 20% only a decade ago. Right. But what else can we do? How do we limit the contrast media? And the truth is that operators, as your, as your fellow and uh, you right. know, uh, attending just, um, you just, you just described, uh, we are just not aware of how much contrast we're using, and we get all enamored in the picture, and we aren't right, and we thinking of. We just keep of, injecting. Yeah. Oh, where is it? Where right. is it? Let me see it better. So there's a lot of obviously ways to do that: flooring, uh, store, uh, storing the fluoro, uh, keeping every single one of the shots, all your test shots, everything else, to so that you don't continue Absolutely. to test all those things. But this particular system, the avert system, that is now. The newest one is going to be called Divert, which is going to be much more automated, is a system that has a reservoir and a modulator and a contrast modulator that basically is um, uh, monitoring the pressure by which you're injecting. And once you reach that, which is, which is the filling of the, of the artery of the, of the left coronary system or the right system, it then uh, basically takes away the extra. It doesn't mm -hmm. allow you to 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 continue. Even though you press it to go in, it goes into a reservoir. Right. And then the next time you uh, inject uh, the um, the coronary vasculature, it comes back into the. So it goes to like in a closed loop. It's into a closed loop system, as you said. Yeah. And so it's it, it it should reduce the use of dye. We what we didn't know is. Is this going to actually help in reducing contrast and induced acute kidney injury, or is it actually going to be that you have this system? People are going to just use more dye because they know right. it keeps saving. Right. So we needed to do a randomized study, and uh, we did a um, almost 600 patient, 578 patient. It's the largest uh, acute kidney injury study ever with. Uh, um, you know, 578 patients, 39 uh, sites around the United States, and we use this closed loops, you know, this, this system, the dot avert system, uh, and we showed... Um, How did you find acute good, kidney um, injury? We defined it as either a uh, 0 0.3 mil, uh, absolute increase. Which is consistent with the Kodika, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the renal guys, that's yes, how they define yes, it, yes. Yes, uh, Aiken. Mm -hmm. And um, but we also looked at 0 0.5 or 25 percent increase, which is what we're used to. Sure. Uh, first of all, um, there, there were two co-primary endpoints. The first one was a, um, a contrast uh, volume saving. We wanted to make sure that we sure. actually save contrast volume. And the second one was a reduction of acute kidney injury. 
We met the primary endpoint of reducing contrast media significantly by 15%, mm -hmm. which is which is quite quite a good number. Sure. However, we did not meet the criteria of uh, we didn't. A didn't reduce. Reduction now, were you adequately powered? Injury. I mean, what was the event rate? Well, Did you have enough that's patients? The, that's the that's the issue. I think that we expected about a 22 percent event rate because we took the high risk patients, and the overall event rate was lower than that. It was sure. about 15 percent. The reduction, though, was not even there at all. I, I see. Mean, we didn't see any reduction except for a post hoc analysis in moderate uh, moderate um, uh, CKD patients. So the very, very healthy patients, it didn't matter. The very sick patients, they were already kind of at risk, so it didn't, yep. it didn't help them. And it really, I think we learned a tremendous amount. I think in the moderate CKD patients, we need a prospective study to actually yes. show its benefit. But overall, it's good not to inject that much dye. So right. I think to me, that was an important thing. The last most important question was, if, is this thing gonna reduce the quality of the images? Which is a big, big thing. Sure. A core lab analysis is underway, but according to the operators, which were blinded to uh, looking at that, they had no issue at all. And, and only about 14 cases of the 300 patients in that arm needed to come off the, the, uh, the avert. Um, right. So it's a really good study, right? And I'm excited Congratulations. to present Congratulations! Very you. important topic. I think yeah. it's grossly underappreciated the importance of uh, AKI after yeah. these procedures. And, and I think having a system like that in the cath lab, I think, is going to be extremely useful, especially in CTO cases. Yes. Especially in cases where we know there's going to be lots of, right. you know, close cabbage patients and in, in high-risk individuals. Right. I think it's a good thing. Congratulations! Well, thank you. Thanks for presenting it, and uh, thanks for joining us here live from Sky 2016.